everybody. Welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. Okay, today's topic is can a narcissist change? Can a narcissist change? Now before we get started, I want to say welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all of the new viewers. Welcome to all of the new subscribers. And welcome to you who have been with me from the beginning. Now, those of you who are new to this channel, I will answer your relationship questions. So at the end of the video, I'll show you a link where you can send in your question. And I will either answer it privately through the email or I will answer it online and share it with the collective. And it can be your decision. Now, those of you who are interested in these caps, they are now available in my online store. So just go to the description all the way to the bottom and you'll see a link that says online store. Just click on that link and there you have it. Okay, let's dive into this message today. Actually, this message was inspired by a letter that came in. So let's read the letter and then we're going to talk about this topic. Okay. Can a narcissist change? <clears throat> okay. This is from uh, a young lady and she says, I'm curious to know your opinion on self-aware narcissist. I was married to a narcissist for seven years and in a relationship for three years prior to being married. He's still the same three years later after our divorce. I don't expect him to change either. I often hear you say a narcissist is demonic and can never change. I just want to know your perspective on narcissist going through therapy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now this is my opinion and it, it, you know, it's a spiritual opinion. Okay. Let me explain to those of you who are new and don't know what a narcissist is. And let me explain it through a spiritual perspective. Okay. <clears throat> a narcissist a true narcissist is created. Okay, and how does this happen? It happens when the narcissist is a very small child. The narcissist is either sexually molested, okay, or the narcissist is neglected and abused. You see? All right. The child goes through this trauma. Okay. Now, during this trauma, an, an evil spirit approaches the child. An evil spirit presenting the child with some solace from the abuse that the child is suffering. Okay, now this evil spirit, let, let's get this straight. This evil spirit can come in the form of another person. Okay, it could come in the form of a friend of the child. The evil spirit can come in the form of just a spirit, you know, just talking to the child in the child's head. But what happens is the evil spirit is trying to persuade the child that what is occurring is natural. <laughs> you understand? See, this, this is where the child gets some comfort when the evil spirit comes. The evil spirit is convincing the child to accept this behavior. Okay? All right. And many times the child will. It, if, you know, you accept it and then you don't find it being so harsh because you're part of it now. Okay? All right. This is what I believe creates the narcissist. And because the narcissist has accepted that demonic spirit, okay, I don't believe that therapy can help that because it's spiritual, okay? 
I do know a lot of narcissists who have gone to therapy for years and they, they never change because it's demonic. You understand? It's not something that just happened in their, you know, in their mind to make it, a, there's a switch to flick it on and flick it off. It's not that. No, it's demonic. Okay? And if this person can be uh, released from this demonic spirit, it can only be through spirituality. Okay? So, uh, can a narcissist change not through therapy? That's my opinion. Not through therapy. You understand? The narcissist, because he's demonic, he or she is demonic. The narcissist does not see the evilness in them. They think they're normal. You understand? Even when they're hurting people and destroying lives and all of that, the demon inside of them finds pleasure in that. You understand? So the narcissist never sees anything wrong with his behavior. He doesn't even realize there's an issue because he or she is possessed by the demonic spirit. Okay? Now, let's look on the flip side of that. People who have narcissistic tendencies. Okay, I think these people learn this behavior. Okay, nothing happened when they were little. But as they were growing up, they viewed the narcissist as a role model because many narcissists are successful because they don't mind taking advantage of people to gain success. Okay, so uh, young people, they admire people who are successful. So they want to, you know, pattern their personalities like the narcissist to be successful. And that's why you find a lot of these people with narcissistic tendencies. They feel like this is the way to get ahead. Okay? Now, these people, I believe that they can benefit from therapy. Because all they need to realize is the error of their ways. You understand? And I believe that, that once that they realize what's going on, that they may want to change that behavior. When they realize that they can be successful without being narcissistic. You understand? But the true narcissist, he is the evil being. And he's out here. He is the one who is recruiting other people to join to join him or her. This demonic spirit is out recruiting people. You see? And those folks that have narcissistic tendencies, they have been influenced by a narcissist somewhere down the line. All right? This, that's my pick on uh, the narcissist. It is a demonic, a demonic spirit that has taken over the individual. By choice. I mean, this spirit didn't just jump on them. They accepted it. Okay? And, and I'm going to tell you, the reason they accepted it, because... They uh, experience trauma at a very young age. They didn't know any better. They, you know, they experienced trauma. And they were looking for relief. And that's when the demon came to them. Do you follow me? This is, this is how narcissists are created when they are very, very young. Okay? I hope you understand my message on that, that um, a person with narcissistic tendencies, I believe they can change, but the true narcissist, no, I don't believe that therapy can help. Okay, let's look at another letter here, okay? Here's an another young lady that addresses her letter, help. I was with him almost two years, and I found out he was married. And I didn't want to be with him anymore once the wife contacted me. Okay, here we go again with women contacting other women about their man. 
instead of getting a man straight on that. Okay? All right? Now, let me explain what I just said. Listen, ladies. If you find out that your man is cheating on you with another woman, you need to address the man, not the other woman. <laughs> Why are you addressing her? When he's the one that approached her, he's the one that's got it going. So why don't you approach him? Because even if you are successful in running that woman away, you're going to run every woman that he approaches away because he's not going to stop. He does not respect you and he doesn't care. All right. That was just, <laughs> that was just a, a note I wanted to put out there because I do get letters where uh, you ladies are running after the other women. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. As a matter of fact, that that uh, brings your own value down when you do things like that. Okay. Now let's say let's see what else you say in this letter. So since I told him to go home, and that he lied to me all this time, I didn't want any parts of that. He started saying he was going to kill me. Coming to my job and my house. I called the police. They just gave me a report and he knows my every move. Where my children go to school, calling me from all sorts of numbers. And he's so mean to me. Before I found out, I didn't want to go back to the married man. Okay. All right, let's look at this. <laughs> Let, let's let's look at this. Now, you said that uh, you didn't want any more parts of him because uh, his wife called you. Now, you probably knew he was married before the wife called you. But she probably ran you off when she called. Now, your real concern was when he said that he was going to kill you. Because you didn't want any more parts of him. Okay. And you say that he was very mean. I work two jobs. So he played me because I want to work. I, I don't understand that. What do you mean he played you because you want to work? I'm heartbroken and I'm scared. His mom killed his father and went to jail. Then when his mom got out of jail, his father's side people killed his mom. So he said he wants to be with his mama. So I tried to tell him we can be friends. But he doesn't want that. The police order of protection makes it worse. It just makes him more angry. And now he calls every day. Okay, here you go. All right. Let, let's go back up into this letter where you say that he, he don't want any part of him and he tells you that he's going to kill you. Okay, that sounds like a bluff to me. Okay, because I'm going to tell you, most people, all right, most people that verbalize that they're going to kill you or hurt you or whatever, they're just bluffing. If he was going to kill you, you wouldn't even see it coming. You understand? He wouldn't tell you. He wouldn't tell you. He'll just come kill you. You understand? So, and I'm going to tell you, I know that sounds a little, a little flaky. But yeah, I've had a man tell me that he's going to kill me before if I didn't comply to him. So I told him, go ahead. Go ahead. Do what you got to do. And guess what? He walked away and went on about his business. You understand? If, <laughs> if people threaten you and tell you that they're going to kill you and going to kill you only because you say you don't want no parts of him. He's bluffing to keep you there. He knows that you know the history in his family and this will intimidate you and make you want to stay there when you need to be getting as far away from this man as possible. Number one, you need to block him. Now, I wish you hadn't gone for the order of protection. And um, I did mention that in one of my other videos, but I'm going to mention it again because it's here in the 
in this letter. The, when you go down and get an order of protection from the police, think about it, ladies. All you come out with is a piece of paper. <laughs> That's all you got. Do you think this is going to keep some man from coming in and doing whatever he wants to do to you? By the time the police get to you, he's already done it and gone. But you can make him angrier by, by going and trying to get this order of protection. That order of protection is, <laughs> I guess it's just something to make you feel better. It doesn't protect you from anything. It's worthless, ladies. So quit running down there to the police to get an order of protection. I don't care even if you live with the man. Why are you going to get an order of protection when he can <laughs> he can put his hands on you right there? People, be wise. Be wise. With this particular man, you need to cut it off. You need to block him and don't answer any of his calls or knocks or whatever he does. Just block him. Don't respond to him anymore. He'll get the message and move on. He's got a family. He'll go back to them. And you, don't live your life fearful. Okay? All right, listen. Because if you do, the very thing that you are fearful about is energy and you will draw it to you. You will draw it to you by being so fearful about it because that's where your focus is. You understand? We manifest where our focus is. You create your own reality. All right? So if you want this man to, to leave you alone, number one, what I would do, I would get on my spiritual path and ask the divine for help to remove him from my energy. That's what I would do. And then I would get on my spiritual path doing my affirmations and my meditations to raise my vibration so that I will be way beyond this kind of foolishness. Okay? Okay, this is very low class, low vibrational to be dealing with this kind of mess. Okay? And you want to raise above this. But yeah, don't live your life in fear. He's bluffing. Uh-uh. You need to cut him off because the more that you um, entertain him, he could get violent. He might not kill you, but he may uh, physically harm you if you keep dealing with him. You understand? You need to cut him off. And never look back. Never look back. Yeah, now order of protection. Forget that. That's nothing. It's not protecting you from anything. Ladies, and across the board, understand that. Quit going down there and getting that order of protection. It's nonsense. It's a waste of your time and energy. But you're just going to make the person who has threatened to assault you angry. And now they really want to hurt you. Because you did that. Because now you've taken that name and down to the police station. You understand? Don't do that. Just cut these people off and let it go. But ladies, to avoid all of this, take your time with these people. To get to know them before you get involved with them. Especially before you get sexually involved with them. See, a lot of this comes... Because you were sexually involved with them. And you have bonded to them. You see? And that's why they feel ownership over you. And that's what this guy feels. He feels some sort of ownership over you. And that's why he's telling you that he'll kill you. It's only, it's only to scare you. So that you'll stay put. That's all that is. I'm telling you people. If this man really meant that he wanted to kill you, you wouldn't see it coming. You wouldn't. <laughs> We'd all see it on the news. Okay? So uh, stay away from these kind of people. 
any kind of people that even talk about harming you, you don't need to be around them. So for you, if I were you, what I would do, I would start my spiritual path today. I, I will find a quiet place. If you can go outside, go outside and be quiet with yourself and ask the divine for help. Ask the divine to remove this, this uh, negativity, this toxicity from your energy. See, you, you got a soul tie here with this guy. Mm -hmm. You need to break it. And you can break it. If you, if you follow these instructions, it'll, it'll help get him out of your life and break that tie with him. Period. But the only way you can do it is through spiritual work. Through spiritual work. And you want to protect your children. So you need to protect yourself. Okay? I hope you understand. And I really hope it helps. We got uh, one more letter here. And I'm going to try to go through this one. This one is entitled... Soul tie manipulation. Okay. I assume this is a lady. I can't tell. But she says, How exactly does the narcissist manipulate you through soul tie? I left mine about 11 years ago. He's remarried with a whole nother family. We share a son who would be 11 this year. That he only plays child support for. But I just don't understand why he randomly pops up in my thoughts. That's it. There's the soul tie right there. He is the last thing I would ever want to think about. And most times I will redirect my thoughts to keep feeling anything negative good for you. Good for you. That You're doing the right thing. Shift your thoughts. I've let go of all of the harm and destruction he tried to create in my life. I know the universe makes no mistakes. And whatever he gives, he gets. I've been told that sometimes when others are thinking of you, it can make you think of them. Out of all my exes, this one tends to keep popping up. And I even had a hardcore schizophrenic narcissist after me. Oh my goodness. I just wanted to understand exactly what the demon does that can manipulate some women to go back. Think of him or whatever the case may be. Is it something physical? I hope this doesn't sound crazy. No, it doesn't sound crazy. But it's not physical. It's spiritual. It's all spiritual. He's a demon. You understand? And he can manipulate you from afar. All right. Now, from your letter, it doesn't look like you really went through a healing process. From him, and it's probably time that you do that. You see, you need to break the soul ties so that you don't think about him anymore. Now, this is this is how uh, the soul tie works. The narcissist can be thinking about you, and if you're soul tied to the narcissist, that energy can come straight to you and make you think about the narcissist. You see? And that same energy can make you feel like, well, maybe he wasn't so bad. You know? That same energy can make you remember the good times with the narcissist, probably during the love bombing stage, your good times. But that energy that that narcissist is putting out there can make you remember all of those feelings that you had. And this is why a lot of people will make the mistake of going back to the narcissist because of those feelings that the narcissist is putting out. 
You see, because the narcissist never really leaves you, ever. I don't care if he's married or not. He never really leaves you. If he gets short of supply, he'll be back. He'll be back for your supply. If you were a good supply for the narcissist, married or not, he'll come back. As long as you allow him to come back. Okay, this is the thing. As long as you allow him to come back. But he can continue to manipulate your thoughts and your feelings from afar because of that soul tie. You understand? All he's got to do is just think about it. Think about it. Think about getting you back. Put that energy out there in the universe getting you back. And because you're tied to him, that's why you feel it on the other end. That's why you feel it. Now, if you get on your spiritual path to raise your vibration, that energy tie will get weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker until one day you, you won't even feel it anymore. This is why with some people you'll feel that soul tie stronger than with other people because he's demonic. He's a narcissist. You understand? And other people, you can have a soul tie with them, but it won't be like the tie, the demonic tie with the narcissist. Because most people, you have a tie with them, and for a while, you'll grieve the breakup or whatever, but then you can forget it. They'll move on and forget it. Okay? And, and over time, the tie will just, you know. But the narcissist is a demon. You see, a demon, and he does not intend to let you survive his control. Okay, so that's what you are experiencing with the soul tie manipulation with the narcissist. The narcissist does not intend to leave any of his victims standing. His mission is to destroy, to seek, and to destroy. That is the narcissist. I want to bring up this movie that's out, The Sound of Freedom. I went to see this movie. You all should go see this movie. This is a very important message that needs to be spread out across the world. Now, I'm going to put a little um, website note here where those of you, if you don't have the money to go see this movie, on this website, you can get a free ticket. There are people donating a ticket for you to see this movie. This movie talks about human trafficking of children. And this is really happening today. And we all need to be aware of it. And so this is why I am promoting this movie. I am encouraging everyone at the sound of my voice to go to see this movie. Okay? It will open your eyes to what's going on. And it may save the lives of some of your children. May save the lives of... Of your children. Okay? You need to see this movie. And uh, so you'll know what is going on. And apparently the information that I got about this movie. Is that it is being suppressed. Because the powers that be really don't want you to see this movie. They just wanted to brush under the rug. Because the movie... Um, was produced, from my understanding, at least five years ago. And people just, you know, the powers that be, they just tabled it because they don't, they don't really want the public to know that this is going on. But it is. And it's a lot of higher up people, decision makers. And I say decision makers because these are the people that make decisions about our lives are involved in activities like this. And that's why they don't want you to know 
about this information. So, as a spiritualist, I want you to be spiritual, but I want you to know and be aware of this evil in the world today. Okay, people? So, go see this movie. Okay? And tell others so that they can go see the movie. We want everyone to see this movie. Okay? All right. All right. Those of you who have questions that you would like for me to answer, here is the link. Send your questions to MissFaysWorld at Hotmail.com. That's MissFaysWorld at Hotmail.com. And uh, try to keep your letters to one page. Just summarize your situation and ask the question. And uh, if you prefer that I answer your question through the email, just post it right at the top of your letter and it won't be overlooked. I want to thank you all for supporting this channel. I want to thank you all for your comments. I thank you all for your letters. And a special thank you for those who leave a donation. I really hope that the message today can help someone. I wish you all well. I wish you all happiness. And I really hope to see you next time.